One of the things that I have never heard mentioned in all of my years of education, including law school, and in the 14 years that I worked as an employment attorney was the racist history of tipping in America. At first, Americans considered tipping very anti-American. It was a European custom that was practiced by the aristocrats that would tip their servants. That is until George Pullman came along and started to popularize the practice in his Pullman sleeping cars, which were these more high-end uh, train cars so that people can travel all over the country. He specifically hired African-American men to work as Pullman porters who would provide elite service for next to nothing so they would have to rely on tips. But this does not tell the full story. What's missing, of course, is why he specifically chose African-American men and the way that they were treated as a result. Pullman specifically targeted black men from the South who were former slaves and worked hard, grueling jobs in plantations. He thought that these would be the best employees to cater to his customers every whim and that they would work long hours for cheap wages because they were paid basically nothing and had to rely completely on tips. He also thought that black porters, especially those with darker skin, would be more invisible to his white upper and middle class passengers, making it easier for them to feel comfortable during their journey.